Hello darlings, for today's video I'll be creating three looks with one palette using the new Buxom Cosmetics Forever Babe Eyeshadow Palette. The palette includes 12 long-lasting primer infused and talc-free shades in three curated quads that make application super easy. I'm also going to be using the new Powerline Lasting Eyeliners. These long-wearing, waterproof, and smudge-proof Retractable eyeliners are available in five shades. Now that we've swatched everything, let's get started on the first look. I've already primed my eyelids with the P. Louise base in shade 0.5 and am dipping right into the shade called Flirty. This is a matte putty beige color and I'm using it as my transition shade by applying it to the outer part of my crease with a large fluffy blending brush. Now I'm picking up a darker brown shade to add dimension to the outer V. This shade is called All In. I'm applying it with a smaller, denser brush to keep it concentrated beneath the previous light brown color, starting with it closer to my lash line and slowly bringing it up into the crease. Now that I'm done blending, I'm working my way into the shimmer shades with the shimmering golden beige color called Flaunt It. I'm packing this all over the front part of the lid. Now for my bottom lash line, I'm taking that same dark brown shade from earlier and applying this closest to my waterline. Then I'm switching brushes and buffing that out with the light brown shade, making sure that all of the shadow connects at the outer corner of my eye for a smooth transition with the work I did on my upper lid. After that, I'm curling my lashes, applying the Buxom Lash Volumizing Mascara to my upper lashes and adding some false lashes. These are from Visofree on AliExpress in the style A21. I'm using the Powerline Eyeliner in LBD, a matte black color for my upper waterline, and Bossy Brunette, a matte chocolate brown color for my bottom waterline. Finally, I'm applying mascara to my bottom lashes, and that completes the first look using mainly shadows from the big quad. For the second look, I'm starting off by placing a piece of tape at the outer corner of my eye so that it angles towards the tail of my brow. Then I'm dipping into the matte rose pink color called Unstoppable. I'm blending this into the outer V using a large fluffy brush by LaRousse Beauty, making sure that I get it all the way onto the edge of the tape so that I'll have a nice defined line once I remove the tape. Now that we have our transition shade down, I'm picking up the darker shade in the same quad to add definition to the outer V. This matte plum brown color is called Take Risks. I'm using small circular motions to blend this below the transition shade, and then I'm making my whole blending process a lot easier by going back in with the fluffy brush from before and sweeping this over what I just applied. Now I'm switching brushes to a smaller, more pointed brush and deepening up the outer V even more with the matte espresso gray shade called Feelin' It. This is staying below the two shades we just applied while still keeping it directly up against that tape. Once again, I'm making my blending process easier by sweeping whatever's left on my brush for my transition shade towards the top of what I just applied. For the inner half of the lid, I'm applying a shimmer shade. This one is a metallic light pewter color called Empowered. Once I'm done with my upper lid, I'm removing the tape and wiping away any of the fallout. Unfortunately, these shadows are pretty powdery, so there's quite a bit of kickback in the palette as well as fallout onto the cheek, so I definitely recommend applying your face makeup after your eye makeup when using this palette. After applying my mascara and lashes, I'm tightlining with the Buxom Powerline Lasting Eyeliner in LBD. Finally, I'm applying the Shimmery Mauve Powerline Eyeliner in Demure Dolly to my waterline and applying mascara to my bottom lashes. And that completes the second look using mainly shadows from the Bold Quad. For the third look, I'm using shadows from the Sexy Quad. 
I've once again already primed my eyelids using the P. Louise base in 0.5 and am applying the matte espresso gray color called Feelin' It. I'm packing this onto the outer V using a small pencil brush for precision. This gives off a slight purple hue so it works well with the other shades in the palette. I'm just switching my brush to the Morphe JH40 and without any pigment on that brush, I'm sweeping this around the edges of what I just applied to diffuse it. Then I'm going back in with the other brush and packing on more pigment as needed. For this round of shimmer, we have the metallic golden taupe shade called Sensual. I'm tapping this onto the front part of the lid, and then I'm adding liquid eyeliner using the Benefit Their Real Extreme Precision Liner. I'm dragging this across my lash line, keeping it pretty thin, then I'm taking it out into a winged liner in the outer and inner corners of the eye. After using some concealer to clean it up, we're creating a double wing effect. I'm running the same eyeshadow underneath the lash line, following the shape of my eye so that it flows with the inner wing and with the outer wing. Now there is a definitive blank space between my actual lash line and the new faux lash line I just created. I'm applying the LBD Powerline Eyeliner along the top of the shadow and buffing that out for a smudged look. Then I'm carefully going in with the Liquid Eyeliner by Benefit to create a super sharp and defined liner at the top edge of all of the smudged liner and blended shadow. After that, I'm curling my lashes, applying the Lash Volumizing Mascara, and popping on the Viso Free Lashes in the style A21, which we've now used for all three looks. Finally, I'm tight lining with the LBD liner and applying mascara to my bottom lashes. And that completes the three looks using the Buxom Forever Babe eyeshadow palette. Let me know which out of the three looks was your favorite in the comments below, and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time!